guys welcome back to my channel back with another makeup look today but before we get any further into this video please make sure to subscribe hit that bell right up here at the top, and make sure you leave me a comment let me know how y'all <sighs> yeah here on this channel i just can't get my words right <laughs> But make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know how you like this look. So today I'm going to be using the Mom's palette. I did a video on this look before, but yeah, I got copyrighted. So I had to take it down because it wasn't able to be seen in different countries. So I had to take it down. But anyway, so starting with this look today, I will be using my Benefits Brow Pencil in the shade Warm Deep Brown. So yeah, let's get started. Looks like zero two deep or dang CC five six eight deep. I'm way off. <sighs> Please excuse me. I'm sure it's another name to it. But yeah, that's what we call it. here with the Juvia's Place White Sand Setting Powder and I'm just going to use a little bit of that to set my concealer under my eyes and my eyelids. If you would just give me one moment. Just so my eyes won't get so creasy, because my eyes get really creasy. And I hate that. Sorry for any background noise. That's my children. They're doing um, virtual learning and some are on break. <laughs> Okay, so I just had to set in place um, where I'm going to be using my eyeshadow. 
So now I'm just patting it in. Because I know if you do not let your concealer set, you will start seeing creasing your eyes wet. And I just typically don't like that. See that? All that creasing right there. I hate that. It makes my eyeshadow look really creased. But that part, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about that, sadly. All right, since that is in place, let's get into these eyes, honey. And here we have the lovely mom's palette by Juvia's Place. Uh, my palette is a little messy, excuse me, because I have used this palette before. Oh my god, stuff falling. So it's going down up in here. <laughs> Hydro Grip Setting uh, uh, Primer. One day I'm going to get it right. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys, I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye, but I'm gonna do it off camera just to speed it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'm going to apply some eyeliner. I just love my eyeliner. And some mascara. I don't think I'm gonna put lashes on today. Even though I feel like lashes just completes the look. But uh, yeah, I'm not the best when it comes to liner, but uh, I do what I do. Just these lashes. You can go ahead and use them. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using my um, Elf Camel Concealer since I ran low on one of my um, Juvia's Place concealers. And then to follow, I'm gonna use my darker shade. Goodness, do I even have any more? <laughs> You will see why I put my concealer on first in just a second. Okay, my lashes are packed up a little bit on me. These are like for the more, you know, simple, not too much. Um, the girls that don't really like very very long lashes but they still want a little bit of one <clears throat> so I'm just concealing where I would normally Seal if I had my liquid foundation on, but today we are using a powder, so I'm just you know doing the opposite of what I would do. Using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend this out. I heard if you let your concealer dry a little bit, like bake, um, it will show up more. But since this is a lighter concealer, I don't want to do that because as you can see, it dries quickly. So I want it to be a little light, but not too light. Feel it to be that light on my forehead, and since I already used some for my brows, I just used a little tad bit. And now I'm gonna go on with my Juvia's Place number six concealer. Thank you. 
you're not good with um concealing your you know like cleaning up right here by your eyeshadow please ooh, it looks tacky but please go and purchase these from Ulta Beauty trust me they do work or if you just want to clean them up real quick and you don't want to you know what I'm saying you use a beauty blender or brush or whatever you use to clean it up with you want something real fast and quick that's going to do the job for you Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter 440. I need to go purchase another shade. Yeah. That's what we have for now. And this Morphe brush is not doing it. face break out and ever since I've been wearing um, higher and you know higher brand products my face hasn't been really breaking out as much because I have very sensitive skin thanks to my fault <laughs> sorry again. but yeah you guys so, um, like concealer and stuff like that I could pull off but like foundation and stuff, I don't know why. I just can't seem to do it. Okay. 
gonna do a little bit of contour. I do not like contouring my nose, so not that good at it, but we're gonna see what we can do to draw it. Let's see if Morphe will help us out. Just a little bit. That's why I'm using this little brush. Because I don't want to be too dark or too light. If that makes sense. Yeah, it should make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> um, they say that uh, you don't want makeup to cover up your flaws. My baby. This face right here has been through some things. I may tell that in a story time once I um, reach a few more, you know, subscribers. So I need y'all to keep hitting that subscribe button for you, girl. And that thumbs up button. I've been doing YouTube for a little while and it's starting to get a little discouraging and sometimes I'm not gonna lie. Because it's so hard to um, reach a certain point on YouTube. And, uh, I just wanna grow my channel. so light but trust me I'm not going out here looking like a clown <laughs> I'm not going to use any highlighter today maybe if we bring this light down some on this one we'll make it a little bit better So I got this uh, pack of Real Technique brushes from Ulta, but I also seen last night in Target, they have the same brushes, same price. Like, and Target really has more brushes and stuff of Real Technique brand. Now I must say, these are some good brushes. They're easy to clean. I need to clean it. <laughs> so, anyways, before I keep on rambling my mouth, let's get on to the lips. Now, don't judge me because I've also seen other people do this, but I'm doing it. I am using this eyeliner, which is hard to use. I purchased this from the beauty supply on my eyes, so I'm going to see how it's going to work for my lips. You got to make some of your products work for different things, you know, so you don't want to buy stuff for one purpose, save your coins, baby. <laughs> Anything to save a buck. Now, I do agree, sometimes you just can't be cheap. I don't care how much money you got. You know, so, uh, you can still be smart, but not dumb at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got to spend coins for something that is worth it, then yeah.
My lips are just as creased as my eyes. I hate it. makeup in store and me I don't like purchasing things online just because of the whole COVID thing and I like to see what I'm about to purchase you know what I'm saying I like to see the quality of it but if I don't know a brand then it's special and I'm trying it out for the first time yeah Oh, I got to show y'all my lip gloss. I don't know why. But this is from my Barbie Dreams collection. Both of these lip glosses. This is really pink. It's showing peach on camera. And this one is... um Pink and like a darker pink and a light pink shade. Okay, you guys, this is it for this look. I'm going to be using my um, Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. And then... Sorry, before we got really interrupted by my son. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the like button for me. Um... So you can see more content like this. And yeah, so you could just be notified every time I drop a new video. Love you all. See you in the next video. Peace.